What's up, Team KBA? One Tech Traveler here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm going to share my final thoughts on Alpaca's Vertex pouches. I've got both of them here, the X-Pack RX36 and their Axofurx Recycled Poly 600D. They are two ecofabric versions, and these are essentially desk caddies, portable workstations that you can grab and go, take it with you, whether at your home desk, your office desk, at a cafe, at a library. And I've honestly found these to be very refreshing. So join me as we unpack my roughly two weeks of use of the Vertex pouches and of course dabble it into their more convertible lifestyle. Like always, you can find my full written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com. And if you think this is right for you, you can find all the links down below where you can purchase it from Alpaca. Support the channel. If you like these, if you like any of Alpaca's gear, then do save along the way with the discount code in the video description or the comment boxes. This is the Alpaca Vertex pouch. Let's get started. Whether it's their slings, their pouches, their cases, their backpacks, their totes, it's unlike any of what Alpaca have come out with before. I do like how they've still retained some of their detachable carry options that are a lot more rugged than what you'll find in some of their other pouches, which does make heavier mid-sized gear loads in these a lot more comfortable. This is how I generally like to keep it standing on my table, so it gives you an idea just how open, bright, accessible this is. But if you are planning to carry this around with you either on its own or in another backpack, it has a nice slim and tapered profile, which makes it really compact and easy to bring with you too. In terms of dimensions, both of these measure 28 centimeters wide, 17.5 centimeters tall, and nine centimeters, fairly compact. And also if you're looking to sling it across your chest, underside or towards your back, you can see it's still fairly compact in terms of its profile, a lot bigger than some of Alpaca's other ones. I still find it very comfortable if you want to take this around on its own. We've got the X-Pack RX36 and we've got Alpaca's in-house Axoflux fabric that is starting to feature across more of their backpacks as an alternative to X-Pack. Uh, they both perform similarly well, but have strength in slightly different areas that I'll touch on in a moment but these are both eco-conscious materials, either through the production or in how it upcycles plastic as part of the process for the materials. So first up, let's touch on the X-Pac RS36. This is actually the most rugged, durable form of the recycled X-Pac material. Inherently, it's 100% waterproof from the three layers that make up this composite material. So if you are caught out in the heavy rains, heavy showers submerged in water, you're gonna find it really perform well to protect all of your tech essentials. And it is watertight with these fully waterproof zippers along the front and the main compartment. That is the same with the Axo Flux, which essentially is a recycled Poly 600D. It has the same waterproof zippers for the main and the quick access compartment. And these upcycles for plastic bottles, either disposed of or through the recycling process. This one doesn't have as much of a scratchy surface and you don't get that sort of iconic X material on the x pack fabric. It performs well in terms of durability and abrasiveness. It's generally weatherproof. It's still going to handle any short bursts of being caught out in the rain, mid showers, you're still going to find this weatherproofness very effective. That being said, this is slightly lighter at 380 grams versus the 520 grams of the X-Pack. Where you're gonna find the biggest difference is actually the internal lining. On the X-Pack RX36 model, you get Alpaca's signature blood orange honeycomb pattern. Uh, this is a 210D ripstop nylon. Whereas on the Axoflux and what you'll notice in 
axle flux of their other bags. It comes in a cool gray, and this is a 300D ripstop nylon as well. So it's really just an aesthetic thing. This has more of a minimal monochrome look with the black and the gray. But if you like the vibrant look of the blood orange and the expat combo, then of course this one you can go for. Towards the back, if you're wondering how I'm holding them up, it's because they've got these fairly thick and well padded handles initially i kind of thought these were a bit overkill when i've kind of loaded this up with what i put on my desk having this thick handle actually made sense for the weight and making sure it doesn't really like topple over or doesn't feel well supported it has two attachment points that is for the shoulder strap that we'll look at a little bit later on and it works very well especially with the upgrades they made let me say this one time yeah, one time you make me feel all right so nice i know you wanna do since they're pretty much all the same i'll just put the axle flux edition to one side so we can focus on the internal arrangement of the vertex pouch in the beginning i had it open in this view why in my opinion i think it makes the Vertex pouch, such a great desk caddy. Uh, this is a foldable magnetic opening and it has two magnets just underneath the zipper. When I fold it over, that holds it in place and gives you this really nice, bright, accessible view of the Vertex pouch. And for me, I like to leave it in this position most of the time on my desk. So when I'm just doing something and I wanna reach it, it's just all inside. If you are carrying this on its own, you can slide any of your cables, any reachables, I like to put my phone in here too. When it's zipped and I fold it over to desk caddy mode, we've got this slightly wider uh, zipper that allows me to dive into the mesh. I like the dual access opening. It's a little bit narrow towards the front, putting my nothing phone too. Generally fine, I just have to angle it a little. And since it's quite a stretchy mesh pocket, then it will definitely fit inside. It's just a lot more comfortable when I open it this way because the zipper runs much wider. The Bravo Sling series and the Elements Tech Max sort of had a baby tablet section towards the back. This up to 11 inches and fits my iPad mini six very well, even with the case. This tagline of Alpaca acts as a nice stylus loop as well. Front of it, we have this sort of mid section and it's actually adaptable. It can collapse or expand depending on what you're looking to fit inside. So if you've got big headphones, you can have it fully expanded. But if you only have small things or you prefer to use the front section, it collapses down and you have more exposure of the front side, better access to the front pouches. Overall, it just maximizes the kind of storage that you can find in here, even though the design seems fairly simplistic. There's a lot of depth in the Vertex pouch. The divider kind of splits and it's held by a single magnet that is also fairly strong, which is good. And that provides like a shallow cradle for you to store smaller bits. It can also be a place to store the stylus pencil for my iPad mini six. They've got this zip as well, seen in the element series, a feature I really liked. When you open it up, it's got three open sleeves. I kind of find it a little bit harder to fit your smaller bits, but this zipper pocket works very well and also this space in front of the pouches is just a nice place to drop any other smaller bits. Kind of thought it would make more sense to put the zipper on where the tablet sleeve is. And that just means that I don't need to sort of like fold it back or kind of look over it to unzip because it's not presented towards me. If you are carrying it on its own and you're opening up here, it makes more sense as you're slinging it around to open the zipper. So I can see what Alpaca has done with trying to balance how you want to view things when you're carrying it on your body, like across the chest. I just thought it kind of lost a little bit of usability in desk caddy mode as a result, putting the zipper pocket towards the, the divider. Where it closes in or collapses, there's a little gap from the divider to the actual body of the vertex pouch. I've actually found that really useful to put like my small hand sanitizer on the tablet. They've got a slightly reinforced lip area, which just gives it a little bit more structure and holds. Um, it's a, a, a fleecy material inside, not the most padded, but more than enough considering the rear ballistic nylon and the rear itself actually has more padding towards the back. Unless you're really packing the front mesh pocket a lot, then you won't need to worry much about it bulking because the zippers actually sort of like twist. You can see it's a bit vertical towards the corners. 
and then it's sort of sideways and then facing you towards the front area. It does make zipping and unzipping not the easiest. It is smooth because these are high quality zippers and a zip pull if you're kind of holding it all on your chest. It's not the easiest to open compared to some of their more conventional designs like the Elements Tech Mini. It's just all the side and this is very easy to do. On here, you kind of need to follow the track more to make sure you can open up the zippers. One thing I also want to praise is how quiet these zippers are. It's very satisfying. It's got some slight drag, but it's very smooth and has a premium feel to it. But you can kind of hear it's a bit more dull, this very dampened and also very quiet. I've just got some standard zippers on these pouches, how much noisier and louder and higher pitch it is. After having it folded over a period of time, there's like an indefinite or permanent sort of crease. I'm not sure how you could do it better. In terms of visual, it does impact on it. The crease um, is just something that is evident on both of these. I do love that magnet foldable feature, and I do have this as a desk caddy more than as something I'm carrying around. So for the most part, it actually doesn't bother me at all. One I actually keep by my bedside, and then this one I have on my home work desk when I'm using my laptop. That just has all of my reachables for what I need to actually work with my laptop. It's in the But it's not only just a desk caddy or tech organizer, it's also a convertible sling that you can carry around with you and acts as an alternate to some of Alpaca's pouches while still being able to carry more of a mid-size gear load. Now, this is the same strap that they include in the Tech Brief Pro. Really well padded, nicely cushioned. It doesn't have that sort of prism style on the Elements Travel backpack. This is what you're going to get included with the Vertex pouch. And I like it for a few reasons. One, it's got a much more comfortable gated hook that's easier to close and open. And another feature that makes this strap nicer and more comfortable is this 360 degree pivot. And it doesn't really matter which way I'm hooking it or if I've got it twisted because it can kind of correct itself. You can either hook it outwards or inwards. It really doesn't matter. The shoulder strap can just correct itself like so. And it can be freely adjusted. You can go for a looser or a tighter fit. And it's also got these loops so that you can keep any extra straps in place without it, you know, flapping around. It's a Maglox buckle. And this has a nice like soft closure finish. So when I slide it open, and close it again, it kind of slowly closes down until it meets and it provides a very premium satisfying feeling. So there's no like big clicking sound or loud noise. It's just going to slowly close in place and everything is all lined up. Uh, personally, I've not had any problems. I did have similar concerns when I was wearing this that it might come down. The load of the bag helps it to keep in place because it's kind of putting pressure downwards and since this is a lot more natural to sling across your body like this, as you're walking around, it's, it's really not able to come off solid enough and secure enough that it's not going to come undone. In all honesty, I actually don't really need a buckle. It's just if you've got a tight fit, you might want to, it might be easier to take it off that way rather than taking it off like that. But for me, I've actually been very comfortable not having a buckle at all. If they didn't have a buckle, I would be absolutely fine as well. But the quick access feature of the Maglux buckle feels nice in the hand. It's secure enough and I don't have any problems carrying around. More permanent closure would give you absolute peace of mind. But for this sort of Maglux buckle, you also don't need to worry either. Now, if you're planning to use this as a convertible sling and you want to put it as a desk caddy at a coffee, a cafe or library for longer sessions. If you don't have any other bags, like I kind of have to keep this the strap behind and wrap it around the bag. Like there's no way getting around it. Um, you can detach it, but you've got to put it somewhere and it's just easiest if it's left on. This is probably the cleanest way how I can have it when I'm temporarily at a place. Um, but if I'm at home, I would just generally keep the shoulder strap off, makes that, um, convertible aspect 
going back to a desk caddy. Something to sort of ponder or think about. Uh, but we might see in future generations since this is Alpaca's first like desk minded carry. And for the most part, I absolutely love the design and I think they've done an excellent first generation of the Vertex pouch. <laughs> Now that's out of the way, let's finally get to good stuff and gear load this. I'm going to bring both of them back in iPad mini 6 here for the stylus that sits just above the iPad mini 6 with the case on travel charger. And that fits inside the first pouch wireless earbuds case inside there. touch mouse. And this one can be in a few ways. I can either put it in the mesh pockets or I can slide it just in front of the Joey pouch and it fits nicely because it's a flat profile. I've also got a few of my memory cards. So this would like be in the zippered section. If you're still needing extra spots for smaller stuff, then the zipper pocket works well. Camera battery here. I like to use the front Joey pouches just because it's got more space to work with. Put it towards the zipper if you don't really have anything occupying the midsection. Cables. So I like to put that in this quick access pocket. It's just nice and easy to throw stuff in and it's probably most natural where I'd want to put the cables. And if I don't really have much, then I can just put it towards the front and that fits in with the profile. With some of Alpaca's smaller everyday carries, I've got the zip clutch here. You can also think of the zip pouch, zip pouch pro. You can just throw that inside. I've also got some random pouches I could drop in too. So in that midsection, I've got these and I can just quickly pull them out. But if you've got headphones, Nintendo Switch, when you're at school or at university, in your office place, you can just unpack it and everything is nicely laid out, ready for you to be productive and absolutely on the ball. I've got my magnetic stand and thankfully this fits perfectly inside that midsection. Midsection piece, you can kind of see how that slides in. And it could maybe fit in the zip clutch, which has my hard drives. And yeah, that actually does it. Close that up. Mm, comfortable space for my phone. Just need to angle it. And everything is all secured in here. Now, this is quite heavy now when you consider the extra bits that I've got inside, which makes this thick padded handle on the back a lot more important to have. Everything just feels a lot more robust and intentional with not only as a desk caddy and the way that you'd want to grab this and go, but also the shoulder strap. I actually just found my hand sanitizer and this had a little hole for me to just slide a bottle. It's a little bit tight with the iPad stand, but it just fits. So that went from desk caddy to travel mode and sling it across my body. And there you have it. Even in this mode, being able to fold this over, it feels very natural and just gives me an even better view. Everything in this robust Vertex pouch. I am ready. I am ready. Thanks a lot for joining me, Team KBA. I hope you found this useful. Check out my full written review on the Vertex pouch on my website at onetechtraveler.com. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're thinking of making a purchase, don't forget to use my exclusive Team KBA discount code to help you save along the way. You'll find the latest promotion down in the comments, video description, or on any of my articles on my website. I'll see you in the next video, Team KBA. But until then, keep being awesome. Peace.